The I. The S. The O. That, my friends, would be the integral student outcomes. The I S O's. The greatest things that Regis High School has ever had. So sit back, click your seatbelts, silence your cell phones, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. Now an interview from room three with Mr. Pada. So what is your definition of enlightened by faith? Hi, my name is Eddie Tadeo. <laughs> what was the question? What is your definition of enlightened by faith? Enlightened by faith. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, how would you exhibit this? I would, yes. <laughs> But how? Give us an example. Oh, you want an actual yeah. example? Yes. Well, you see, we can do anything, anything we think is good to show as an example what it means to be enlightened by faith. But truly, you can't do this on your own. You have to rely on the Holy Spirit. That's why we read Scripture. Because Scripture cuts sharper than any two-edged sword. Right to the heart of the matter. And it enlightens you, it emboldens you, it fills you with the Spirit of the Lord. And so then you can live your life according to faith through God's Word. Wow, Mr. Cardell. Wow. Truly inspiring. But now we have Mr. Zito to point out one thing that is key to remember when talking about faith. First of all, faith is a gift from God. It's, it's, it's a free gift. And what Paul says in the Gospel is that if you have faith, you don't doubt. So most of us, I feel, don't really have faith. It's just a word we use. Faith is mean you believe no matter what happens, God exists, there's a heaven. And that's not an, it's not an easy thing. You don't earn it. These students are exhibiting good gospel values. Sam is not. <laughs> <laughs> and the following is how to not exhibit your gospel values. <laughs> All right. My fist is a visual representation of the Catholic faith. You know, one of the greatest things about Regis High School is just how dedicated we all are to excellence. Yeah. 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 Hi there. Are you new here? I don't think I've met you before. What's your name? Scrubby? Nice to meet you, Scrubby. I'm Sam. If you ever need anything, just come to me. I'm always a welcoming human being. Wait a minute. Read my mind. Tell me what I'm thinking right now. Running. You just got to run. Be involved. Isn't that, isn't that the message, is to be involved? Anybody that's not involved doesn't have the rich, full life they deserve. Absolutely. I don't have a clock. Yippee! That was great. Good job. Hey! <laughs>